Equity and appraisal of dying declaration. Abstract. Dying declaration is very important documentary evidence. So it is a kind of documentary evidence. It is hearsay evidence. But even then it is a it is given a lot of weightage in the court proceedings. So as we already know, hearsay evidence are not given much weightage in court proceedings. But this is an exception to hearsay evidence. Recording of dying declaration is very important. If it is recorded properly by the proper person, keeping in mind the essential ingredients of the dying declarations, it retains its full value. So what are the conditions are that it is it must be recorded properly, first of all. And second, it must be recorded by proper person, keeping in mind the essential ingredients of dying declarations. Only then in, the, in case, uh, those cases it retains its full value. Missing any single ingredients of dying declaration makes it suspicious. And offenders, single ingredients, missing any single ingredients, means it must fulfill all the ingredients of dying declaration. And missing any single ingredients of dying declaration makes it suspicious and the offenders are likely to get the benefit of its shortcomings. So first of all, we need to know the basics of dying declaration. Dying declaration is based on the magazine Nemo, Mauritius, Prashimeter, Mentor, i.e. A man will not meet his maker with a lie in his mouth. So what does it mean? Here is the evidence are not given in a weighted in courts because the person who is giving this evidence is not telling his experience. But that of another person who cannot be cross-examined to verify is its facts. So why here is the evidence are not given much importance? Number one, because the person is not telling from his experience. He has not himself person seen, heard, the things but he is telling the experience of someone else this is the first point and second he cannot be cross-examined to verify those facts that's why here's evidence are not given much importance or it is the declaration is an exception to this rule because if this evidence is not considered very purpose of the justice will be perpetuated in certain situation when there may not be any other witness to the crime except the person who has since died so in what cases it is an exception to these rules? Because if this evidence is not considered, very proposed of the justice will be perpetuated in certain situations, in certain exceptional circumstances or exceptional situations when there may not be any other witness to the crime. Okay, except the person who has since dies in certain exceptional circumstances. Sometimes it is the best evidence in such situation. Sometimes it is the, uh, it, the best evidence in such situations. Its admissibility is explained in the section 32 subsection 1 of Indian Evidence Act. So we have to refer section 32 subsection 1 as regards its admissibility. According to this section, when the statement is made by a person as to the cause of his death or any made by the person as to the cause of his death, okay, or any of the circumstances of the transactions which resulted in his death. In case in which the cause of that person's death comes into question. Such statements are relevant where the person who made his this was expecting that or not. So in English law, he must be under expectations of that. Only then this declaration is valid. Expectations of that. That's why the word dying declaration is used. Dying. So this declaration is valid both in civil and criminal cases. Whenever the cause of that comes into question. If we read the various assessments on the admissibility of dying declaration at times, various judges have taken di 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 no diagonally opposite views and different explanations have been offered to the motif in all have been to provide justice to the people. Main thing is that if this declaration seems trustworthy, the court courts this retain their full values. Most important point of consideration is that victims was in a fit condition of mind to give the statement when recording was started. Okay, the victim number one is the victim must be in a fit condition of mind and remains in fit condition of mind till the recording of the statement finished it when it is started as well as when it is finished. Merely stating that patient was fit will not serve the purpose. This can be best certified by doctor who knows best about the conditions of the patient. So certified. This must be certified or ver verified by doctors. 
those kind of doctors who knows best about the conditions of the patient but even in conditions where it was not possible to take fitness from the doctor dying declaration have retained their full sanctity if this there are other witnesses to testify that victim was in such a condition other witness okay other witness to testify testify means to give their testimony that victim was in such a condition of the mind which did not prevent him from making statements okay medical opinion cannot whip out the direct testimony of the eyewitnesses stating that the deceased was in fit and conscious state to make the dying declarations so fit and conscious state of mind of the victim is first condition consideration second most important point to be considered is that it should not be under the influence of anybody or prepared by prompting deterring or imagination so it must not be influenced by anybody means it must be true anybody or prepared by prompting deterring or imagination but means it must not be false even if any one of these points is wrong when done dying declaration is not considered valid this is the second consideration of a dying declaration if it becomes suspicious then it will need corroboration so in case if it becomes suspicious there is some suspicion arises then it must be corroborated if a person has made more than one dying declaration and if these are not at variance with each other in essence they retain their full value if these declarations are contradictory then this loss as values for example a person made uh, more than one dying declarations and all the declarations all the statements made by the person are not at variance means not contradictory to each other then it is it retains at their full value if those statements are contradictory then it loses its value best form of dying declaration is in the form of questions and answers so here we are considering the form of dying declaration best form of dying declaration is in the form of questions and answers if it is in the form of narrations it is still good because nothing has been prompted if well, first of all best thing is that it must be in the form of question and answers but even if it is in the form of narration it is still good because nothing is being prompted and everything is coming as just from the mind of the person making it if a person is not capable of speaking or writing he can make a gesture in the form of yes or no by nodding and even just a declaration is also valid because this person uh, who is going to die is not in a condition to not capable of speaking or even writing then he came in gesture gestures so then they may put certain questions to him and uh, he may throw his gestures answer in the form of yes or no by nodding and even just type of declarations is also valid whenever thing is being recorded in the form of questions and answers uh, precautions should be taken that exactly so what kind of precautions should be taken that exactly what questions are asked and what answers are given by the patient those should be written it is preferred that it should be written in the vernacular which the patient understands and speaks so the language of the questions it must be in the language in which the patient understands and speaks not necessarily uh, some particular language for example like english it may be in his own language in which he understands vernacular it is best that it is recorded by the magistrate so what is best expected that it must be recorded by the magistrate but if there is no time to call the magistrate due to the deteriorating conditions of the victim it can be recorded by anybody example public servant like doctor or any other person so a doctor can also put, uh, record or by public servant or by any person if the situation is just that or if the conditions of the patient is deteriorating and the magistrate is not present in the time courts discourage the recording of dying declaration by the police officers but if there is nobody else to record it dying declarations written by the police officers are also considered by the courts so mostly police officers are not considered uh, um, trustworthy so court discourages the recording of dying declaration by police officers but if there is nobody else to record it dying declarations written by the police officers are also considered by the courts that's why fir has said no evidentiary well it cannot be taken as substantial piece of evidence because it is recorded in front of it is given to the police officer if these are not recording by the magistrate is better that signatures of the witnesses are taken who are present in the time of recording it so witnesses witnesses those witnesses who are present in the time of recording the declaration 
of the person who is about to die so these witnesses signature of these witnesses are also uh, also serves good in burn cases so we have no about we know about burn cases so here it is point three this is the case gupta bd jani cb status of compass mantis in relations to dying declaration in burn patients so this relates to burn patients so in burn cases usually it is debated the person is not capable of making dying declarations okay burn cases but the person is not capable of making dying declarations due to effect of burns or due to the narcotic sedation given to treat burns narcotic something which is a but gupta and jani have a pint then neither effect due to burns nor the drugs used to treat burns victims conventionally affect the higher functions therefore safely concluded that compass mentis is not affected compass mentis means the soundness of mind it is not affected either by burns or by its treatment because in treatment the drugs are given narcotic uh, something which is a uh, which has uh, addictive uh, this kind of drugs so and also the person may not be in a state to uh, may not may not be capable of making the integration so it was debated but now it is said that the therefore the safety concluded that compass mentis is not affected either by burns or by its treatment so a burning patient can also give his declaration or statements if the person making it is imbecile be imbecile or is of tender is person making it tender is means a minor and was incompetent to testify due to these reasons the dying declarations will not be valid as a measure of safety original dying declaration should be sent to the court like a fire and its photo state should be kept in the case file so it is as a measure of safety it does not matter that the person has put a thumb impression or signed if uh, it if he this is duly witnessed so first of all the person's th thumb impression sign or thumb impression or uh, if it is duly witnessed but in the court questions does arise if a person who can sign puts a thumb impression if a literate person putting the thumb impression is in such a condition that he cannot sign example he was lying in the bed and could not get up to sign it or it was inconvenient for him to put thumb impressions due to his conditions intranuous drip on the back of hand or injury example injury on the right hand in a right handed person in the absence of such conditions injury in a right hand in a right handed person in case of left handed person it may be different in the absence of such conditions if there is thumb impressions and this is not witnessed by this interested person a doubt may be created whether this was done after the person died to take revenge by some interested persons so suspicion arises in those cases so it generally doesn't matter that a person has put a thumb impression or signed it if it is they do witnessed but uh, in the court question does arise if a person can sign but puts thumb impressions so question this kind of question arises there is usually no lim uh, time limit that dying declaration becomes invalid if the person died after many months after making the declarations many months okay cases cases are on record when it was considered valid after four months even after four months these cases are also there even the history gives given by the injured recorded even the history given by the injured recorded by the doctor in a case file has been considered as dying declaration by the honorable court if it is mentioned that the patient told in the history that the incident occurred in just and just manner which was responsible for the death manner which was responsible for the death of the victim hence it is important that if just history is written as narrated by the victim it should be recorded carefully keeping in mind the mentioned findings of the court so history is also important first information about a fire got recorded by the police has been taken as dying declarations by the honorable supreme court when the person did not survive to get his dying declaration recorded so in cases when the person cannot survive so the court may take it as a admissible first information record which got recorded by the police officer a fire can also serve as a good purpose in cases when the per person did not survive to get his dying declaration this is point seven which gets but when patient remained admitted in hospital for sufficient state for example it is a fire cannot be treated as dying declarations because here the person is 
person remains in hospital for sufficient day eight days. So in those cases, FIR cannot be treated. It's the declaration. This is an exception to the generally provided under this para first information report got recorded because it depends upon circumstances. A suicide and not written found in the clothes of the deceased. It is in the nature of dying declarations and inadmissible in evidence under section 32 of the Indian Evidence Act. And they're doing it as there's that a suicidal note, okay? Written found in the clothes of the deceased. And it is found in the clothes of the deceased. It is in the nature of dying declarations and is admissible in the evidence under section 32 of the evidence. So the FIR in certain circumstances, suicidal note in certain circumstances can also be dying declaration. Conclusions. Keeping in view the above points and opinions of various courts, they suggested that when never dying declaration is to be recorded, it should be recorded very carefully, keeping in mind the sanctity which the court attached to its this piece of evidence. It retains its full value if it can justify that victim could identify the excellent version narrated by victim is intrinsically sound and accords with probabilities and any material evidence is not proved wrong by any other reliable evidence. So it is perfectly permissible to reject a part of dying declarations if it is found to be untrue and if it can be separated. So one thing, another thing is there, it is perfectly permissible to reject a part of dying declarations if it is found to be untrue and if it can be separated. Convictions can be based on it without corroboration if it is true and voluntary. It must be true first of all, no false. No tutoring, no imagination must be added there. And secondly, it must be voluntary. The person voluntarily makes it. And it uh, based on it without corroboration in certain cases also. And in certain other cases, corroboration is required. Then declaration becomes unreliable if it is not as per the prosecution reasons. This has been summed up uh, the Supreme Court. So, these points are important. It is for a court to see that dying declaration inspires full confidence as the main course of the dying declaration is not available for cross-examination. So, what happens? It is for a court to see that dying declaration inspires full confidence as the maker of the dying declaration is not available for cross-examination. So, it is so point one says that it is up to the satisfaction of the court. Two, courts should satisfy that there was no possibility of deterring or prompting. So, there must not be any possibility of tutoring or prompting. Then comes certificate of the doctor should mention that the victim was in a fit state of mind. Magistrate, fit state of mind. His state of mind, composment is, is important. Magistrate recording his own satisfaction about the fit mental conditions of the declarant was not acceptable, especially if the doctor was available. Then comes point four. Dying declaration should be recorded by the executive magistrate and police officers to record the dying declaration only if conditions of the deceased was so precarious that no other alternative was left. So executive magistrate is not judicial magistrate. It is a defense branch executive. It is uh, in conformity with Article 50 of the Indian Constitution. So executive magistrates are and police. Executive magistrate may be EPSC, parents, uh, for example, IS officers or district dc collectors their executive magistrate or any state public service in case of state public service service adc or this kind of person so dying declaration should be recorded by the executive magistrate and police officers to record the dying declaration only if conditions of the deceased were so precarious that no other alternative was left then comes five. Dying declaration may be in the form of questions and answers and answer being written in the words of person making the declarations. But cannot be too technical. So it cannot be too technical. So this is all about dying declaration. The nature of dying declaration. And here you can see the case references. Uh, point 12. State of UP versus Madan Mohan. And for adjustment of these cases, you can go to the you can go to indiancanon.org. This website is go good for judgments. Here you see state of UP versus Madan Mohan and ORS. ORS means others. Take a screenshot of this part bibliography and research it by yourself. You can search cases in indiancanon.org. This website is good. Thank you, thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe.